In 1931, Kurt Stern demonstrated that genetic recombination in the fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster, was associated with a physical exchange between homologous chromosomes. Stern worked with two X-linked genes, the CAR carnation gene and the big B bar I gene. Mutants of the CAR gene are recessive and when homozygous result in a carnation colored eye instead of the wild type brick red colored eye. Mutants of the big B gene are incompletely dominant, resulting in a bar-shaped eye instead of the wild-type round eye. In heterozygous bar females, the eye is kidney-shaped, while in homozygous big B, big B females and big B, Y males, the eye is very narrow. Stern started with a CAR, CAR plus big B, big B plus female, having cytologically distinct X chromosomes. One X chromosome had the recessive CAR allele and the incompletely dominant big B allele. This X chromosome was shorter than the normal X because part of one end had broken off and was attached to another chromosome. The other X chromosome contained wild-type alleles of both the CAR and Big B genes and had a portion of the Y chromosome attached to one end, making it a little longer than a normal X chromosome. The males had a cytologically normal X chromosome with the recessive CAR allele next to the wild-type Big B plus allele. These flies had carnation-colored round eyes. In gamete formation, the females produced four types of eggs. Two of these types, called parental, resulted from simple segregation of the two X chromosomes with no crossing over between them. One of the eggs contained the short X chromosome with the mutant CAR and big B alleles. The other egg contained the longer X chromosome with part of the Y attached. This X chromosome carried wild type alleles for both genes. The other two types of eggs, called recombinants, were produced by crossing over between the CAR gene and the big B gene on the X chromosome. One of the eggs had a normal sized X chromosome with the mutant CAR allele and the wild type big B plus allele. The other egg contained a shorter than normal X chromosome to which part of the Y had attached. This chromosome had the wild type CAR plus allele and a mutant big B allele. In gamete formation, only two types of sperm were produced from the CAR big B plus males, the X bearing and the Y bearing. Progeny flies were produced by fusion of the female and male gametes. These flies had easily distinguished phenotypes, as well as distinct chromosome morphologies when viewed under the microscope. After fertilization, those eggs in which no recombination had occurred produced the following offspring. 25% were females with carnation-colored bar-shaped eyes, 25% were males with carnation-colored bar-shaped eyes, 25% were females with wild-type eyes, red and round, and 25% were males with wild-type eyes, red and round. There were also two types of recombinants produced. 25% were females with carnation-colored round eyes, 25% were females with red-colored wide bar-shaped eyes, 25% were males with carnation-colored round eyes, and 25% were males with red-colored bar-shaped eyes. In sum, Stern demonstrated that whenever recombinant phenotypes occurred, the cytological markers indicated that a physical exchange had also occurred between the X chromosomes.